So I just welded these two pieces together, this one and this one. And they're like, this is like paper thin and galvanized too, which makes it even harder to get welded up decent. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am the one and only Kentucky Yankee. It is frigid cold outside, like I think 10 degrees Fahrenheit. You can see my breath. So I gotta get the stove fired up in here to get a little warmth going on. And we will continue part two of how to fix a rusty truck bed. So I pushed the truck back and got it on the lift because I wanted to show you guys the underneath of the patch we put in there. Just to show you what it looks like. So there's what it looks like on the back side of the patch. You know, and we made that little lip, that seam, so kind of makes it look pretty clean, you know, under there. Copper weld. It's copper and zinc enriched. So it's some kind of zinc primer. And it's, this is the kind of primer you get when you want to put two seams together. Like, before I welded that patch in, I should have sprayed this in between the two seams. And then you could still, you can weld it up, and it doesn't catch on fire and all that. And it protects that metal where that seams together. But I'm going to spray this on the back side of that seam anyways before I weld in that new piece, that uh, fender weld piece on the inside just to try and keep everything from rusting and stuff like that. So I want to do a little explanation on the JB Weld thing here. As you can see, it's all dried up here today. The reason I did that is because I don't, I don't feel a need to do any more to the inside of this panel than what I did. All I wanted to do was fill in those little holes or pits from welding it and just smooth them out so water can't get in there. So this is not regular Bondo, it's like kind of like fiberglass with like kitty hair in it, you know, and it's just a little bit stronger, it's really hard to sand, and I like to use it kind of for a base where I welded everything up, it just, I just think it's better than using regular Bondo to start off with. I always called this stuff Marglass, and I don't know if that's a brand or, or what, but I remember it used to be called Marglass good stuff time now guys for a call of duty and I don't do this very often but I do appreciate your help. If you're liking the video so far, hit the like button. Give me a thumbs up. 
Uh, go through all my videos, see which one is your favorite, and share it on your Facebook page. If you'll take these steps, it'll help my channel to grow, and my videos will be seen by more people. All right, so I made a crucial error. I forgot to put this in there, so but that's okay. Better late than never. So the first thing I need to do, I already popped it up there and marked both sides, so then I know where to punch our holes. If you'll remember, we're going to use this little punch and hole tool. So here we go. Let's see. And... Oh, that's pretty. And I'm going to go down through here. Put a few of them in. All right, so here's where we're at now. I've got that piece welded in there. And it really difficult to weld right there, look. It's kind of sloppy looking, and I'm gonna continue to work on it. What I'm talking about is those back there. Just very difficult to weld. The metal is so thin that when you burn, the and it's galvanized, when you burn the galvanized off, by that time, you're popping holes through, so it's very difficult to weld. This is all welded up, and it's decent. I'm just going to put some of that mar glass over the top of that to smooth it out and make it nice. So here's where we're at, and I've sanded it down with 80 grit. That's all I've used so far. We've got a long way to go. That is two coats of Bondo sanded. Well, not completely sanded. I still need to finish, but it's been a long day. That concludes part two of this series, and all I was doing was Bondoing it and using 80 grit sandpaper to block it out. To keep up with everything I'm doing, if you want, follow me on Instagram. It's Kentucky Yankee Instagram. I'll leave a link in the description below. Thanks for watching, guys.